am Bethany, and that's Drew. From afar, the desert can appear to be a vast and barren wasteland. Turns out nothing could be farther from the truth. Time has shown us that the desert is one of the most alive and vibrant places on Earth. The deserts of California are home to numerous creative and artistic works like Salvation Mountain, Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch, and Hazel's Volcanic Garden. Today, we are visiting a freestanding piece of uh, art. That's 130, actually. 130 freestanding pieces of art that are all part of the same project. They're called the Galita Meadows Metal Sculptures, right here on Oddity Odysseys. And there's one right behind us. Right here, behind us. I don't see anything so, yet. Yeah, I mean, one of the unique things is that the sculptures aren't just all in a group. They're scattered throughout the whole area. Right, so it'd but, be like a big scavenger. Yeah, you can pick up a map at the visitor center. Shoot, did we get a map? Well, I got one online. Oh, thank God. It's a cute little online thing. The Galita sculptures are located in the tiny town of Borrego Springs, California, and most of them can be found along Borrego Springs Road. That's where we plan to start looking today. Eventually, we'll come across one. Yeah. Oh. What do you see? Oh, there's a, a creature. I should have turned off. Okay, there's <laughs> still more time. I could turn off at any one of these. Why am I not doing that? <laughs> Everywhere. I missed that ah. one too. Okay, I'm going to get to the right spot. Yeah. And our first one is the camel. Oh, uh, it's like a mama and a baby oh, camel. Oh, how cute. cute. We're going to get out for a couple of these, yeah, but yeah. maybe not this one. Those are elephants. All right, not the most flattering angle on this elephant, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Here's a face. Mmm, these things are huge. Yeah. That's crazy. Landowner of Galita Meadows Estates, Dennis Avery, decided he wanted to put all of that open desert to use. Dennis had a vision that his barren land could bring numerous creatures to life. Dennis recruited artists and Paris Jurassic Park gallery welder Ricardo Brissetta, who quickly got to work and created 130 large metal art sculptures. Covering 10 square miles and appearing to pop out of nowhere, the sculptures have different themes including desert environment, prehistoric animals, and religion. Yeah, look, I, you can see they're all over this area. That looks yeah. like a dinosaur. A couple of dinosaurs. T-Rex maybe there. Looks like we got a couple of dinosaurs fighting maybe. Oh uh, yeah, Jurassic Park. As you can see, they're all positioned at different angles, which makes them feel very natural in the landscape. They're part of the landscape. Yeah, I just can't get over the detail. In each claw, there's ridges. It looks very organic. I'm gonna eat you. If you will, he might. I don't know if you can see, but it's so windy out here that it's moving the statues. They're coming to life. Yeah. There's another one over there. There's two more over here. There's, there's oh, like yeah. a friggin' velociraptor. Three. Now I see three. They're all over this huge area. Guess what I saw over there? A T-Rex. The scorpion. Ah, oh, wait. A real one? Oh, no. Or the... The statue. I saw the statue of a scorpion. Oh, so it is hiding over there. Yeah. You see it yet? Oh yeah, I see the tail. Yeah. What amazes me about Ricardo's work is that he welded these on the spot. Wow. So it was like in the desert, 110 temperatures, building these things. I mean, look at this, it even has the wings. What is this, a grasshopper? I think so. Well, I'm trying to figure out what's hanging. Oh yeah, what is that? Like a chain. One of these, they're all gonna come to life <laughs> and attack us. Yep. That's okay, that'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. Like, I mean, if you have to go. I'd rather be I'd rather be killed by a giant scorpion than... No, I've, you know. maybe the grasshopper. I think scorpions are mean. But I think there is more to see. Yes. What are these things? You see those? Farm workers. Ah. These guys are handling the grapes for the winery. I notice their faces are very alien, like they're... Big lips. Yeah, and big eyes. I mean, they look normal from far away, but from up close, they're a little strange. Continuing north, there's something on the right there. What's that? Elephants? Ah, oh, yep, those are elephants. I want to find this jeep. Hey, you should do what he's doing. Yeah, I think I just did. Yeah, that's uh, one hell of a yeah. parking space. <laughs> 
This guy uh, did a really good job parking. Reminds me of you. <laughs> Shifting gears and stuff in there. That's crazy. Hey, do not climb the sculptures. <laughs> I'm on the rocks, thank you. <laughs> Look at the hair. They've got hair. <laughs> These people actually are wearing sunglasses. One thing I've been noticing about the sculptures as we see them throughout the day is that they all have numbers oh, really? on them. They're just in really weird spots. Oh yeah, does this one have one? Our turtle friend. Oh yeah, here we go. 52. Must be. And then we saw ones earlier that were like 101, 102. So I mean, imagine this the system that they had in place. Yeah. But there being so many of these things. <laughs> Look how small you are compared to the sloths. I know, right? Because they're so big. These are the sloths. Looks like they have real fur. It does look like it. It's actually little pieces of sheet metal that have been, it looks like they've gone through a paper shredder or something. And yeah, he's got a buddy on his back. <laughs> I wonder what the first uh, sculpture Ricardo ever made was. I believe that was a T-Rex because his daughter asked him to build one. And it was 20 feet high and 45 feet long. Oh, what a fun dad. What do we have here? A horse and a man pining for gold. You know, think about these being made out of sheet metal, mm -hmm. that they're pretty timeless. Actually, I think Ricardo once said, the older that they get, the better they will look. Yeah. Which is anyone's dream, right? Oh my God, look at this. Oh, uh, this must be the serpent. It's massive. Oh my God. It's huge. It is. He's swimming through the sand. Yeah. He's tailed over there too. Yeah, he's on both sides of the road. Ow. Uh. Even from this distance, you can see that there's a crazy amount of detail. Oh, especially on this one, yeah. Well, let's go check out the sea dragon. Hey, there you are. So Ricardo's been named the accidental artist. Yeah. Because he never took an art class. Oh, no training. Yeah, he just picked up the tools and decided to make dinosaurs and things like that with welding and sheet metal. I guess he figured out how to do it. Not accidental anymore. <laughs> yeah. And I think this guy is supposed to be 350 feet long. Takes up two sides of the road. I believe it. Yeah, it goes all That's the way crazy. across the road down there. Although he is the most popular of the bunch, too. We should go have a look at his tail. That's how many? One, two. That's like five pieces. Five pieces total? Yeah. That's crazy. We want to see the whole thing, so we got to cross the street here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Due to the sheer scale of some of these pieces that Ricardo welded together, he needed some help from a company called Whippersnappers to help install them. Yeah, some of these are massive in size. <laughs> 350 feet long. That's a long walk to get all the way from the head to the tail. Yet here I am. I have conquered the beast. Oh, you slayed him. <laughs> Sadly, Dennis Avery passed away in 2012. An advocate for art being both fun and a learning experience, he delighted in his sculpture garden and once said, I've had a long life. I see these old animals and I feel young compared to them. Magician of metal Ricardo Braceda continues to create. It remains to be seen if more exotic and extinct creatures may pop up in Galita Meadows. The creative minds of Dennis and Ricardo managed to turn a barren patch of desert into an outdoor gallery in a mythical land. If you'd like to come visit the sculptures for yourself, which we highly recommend, be sure to come in the cooler months and bring a reliable vehicle. To stay updated on our adventures around California, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next Oddity Odysseys. We're eating. I don't think you need to tell them that. We can just shoot like this, right? Can the sculptures just come to us? Or we just sit here and watch them go by in like a big metal parade? Well, I mean, it's supposed to be shaped like animals and stuff anyway. Yeah, we need so, a stampede. It could be that today's the day.
they come to life. We want a freeze dried pineapple. No, what is that? Oh my gosh, we have like five bags of trail mix in the back. <laughs> it might be enough. <laughs> 